Your Excellency, yeah. let, let's get your initial reaction to what has happened today. Good evening, Sheila. Good evening, Your, your Excellency. Um, I'm just coming in from uh, Aquaibum. We went to pay condolence to our brother who lost uh, his wife. And as I came in, I also got additional uh, reports of uh, what happened. It's really unfortunate. I need to say this so that uh, everyone can hear from it directly. Earlier hours of this morning, we heard of the incident in the uh, Eleme local government area where a section of the Secretariat, the Council of the was but we also saw video making rounds of uh, the complete destruction of uh, the Quera local government uh, Council Secretariat. We also got reports that uh, some parts of a more one local government council was also destroyed. It's really, really unfortunate. I need to say this. First of all, why do we need to do this? Election has come. Election has gone. The winners of the elections have been sworn in. They have a duration. After that, they will leave the office. Why do you need to destroy government facility? Things that were built with council's resources. Shebo, you'll be surprised to, to, to this. The equity local government council that is destroyed was built by the immediate past council chairman. And I can tell you, that is his legacy project. Why would you also go behind to destroy something that you did? Everybody knows in Nigeria that I have no hand in what is happening. We had election. It was the protest that the election should not hold. The election finally held. We inaugurated the winners of the election. And you were also hearing people boasting. I told you when I was, in fact, the people heard it when I was inaugurating them. That I heard that they were mobilizing 20, 20 uh, persons per, per, per word so that they could go and demonstrate and cause mayhem. And this is a result of it. This is a result of it. I can tell you on good authority, this might not be the, 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 the only uh, instance where I'm coming. I'm aware that all local government council have been marked down. The Faga council have been marked down for destruction. Why do we need to go this low? My okay. meekness is not being weak. I need to say this. My meekness is not being weak. But I, I, I understand that we don't need to go violence for violence. River State is our state. We need to protect the little thing we have. Governor Fubara, uh, if I may ask you, uh, if I may ask you quickly, uh, why, how did things degenerate this badly? Because there are those who will say, you and the former governor, you were one and the same because you, were, you worked together. I mean, what exactly is in the bottom of all of this? What exactly went wrong? Where did things go wrong? So honestly, I wouldn't want to discuss that here, but we all know the issue. It's very simple. That's to do with the issue of power control. It's not about that. You can even say it in this case. If election has been held in River Six and council chairman have been inaugurated in a normal situation, do we even need anybody to go and obstruct them from entering the secretariat? Maybe there's somebody somewhere who believes that no, I still am above and higher than the authority in the states. That's all. It's just issue of power. But I tell you, my brother, I don't intend to discuss it and I don't want to join issues with that. I want to focus on governance. Manage the situation as much as I can. That is what is important to me. But, but, but politically Everybody speaking, uh, Your Excellency, yeah, if I may come in quickly, politically, there are those who will say, yeah, for the man who brought you into our office, yeah, that there are understanding and agreement that you have. Why is it difficult to be for, your, for you to keep your own side of the bargain since you uh, assume office? Because that's the allegation against you, that you are unable to keep your own side of the bargain. Why is that difficult? I don't think there's any understanding we have not kept. I can say it here. There is no understanding that we have that I've not kept. That is the truth. Like I said, I honestly would not want to discuss those issues. What I'm feeling is everyone should share their sword. Even to the minister, 
There is no need to destroy the states. You once ruled the states. The state was the envy of every other state. Another person is there now. What you need is to give the support. After four years or who knows, eight years, I will also leave another person will take over. That should be the spirit. When it comes to election period, you can fight and do whatever. But now it's time for governance. We need all the support. We're here complaining that Nigeria have a problem, a reduction in our oil production. We're trying to improve the, 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 our, 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 our production uh, stage. And we are here, here. This is the heart of where the problem is. We have the problem in Emowa. We have the problem in Degema. We're trying to manage it. And we're now adding in-house issues. These are in-house issues that ought not to be out. Yeah, uh, so give us so an So I, 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 yeah. I, I, yeah. so I, I like I, to I ask you. Bad. That's me. Now, my, my, my question will be, the president has weathered in today and he says that uh, we, uh, the, all parties should share their swords and everyone should allow the court to be able to adjudicate in this matter and, uh, you know, every, calm should remain and the IG should restore uh, the order in the state. What are your reactions to the president's intervention? I do not have any issue with it, but I'm a bit concerned when my name was only mentioned. But like I said, since it's coming from the president, I have no comment about it. But you, you see, this issue is a very straightforward issue. It's as simple as an ABC. Everyone in Nigeria, everyone in the West knows where this issue is coming from. It is not, it's not, it's not, it's not local science. We know what the issue is, and the issue is not Fubara. It's not. I mean, if, if I may well, ask I you a direct question, well, 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 if well, there is, well, if, Governor Fubara, I if, if well, there is I, one thing, I want to say, I want to say this. Shegu, shegu. All right. I believe strongly that with the recent intervention of the Inspector General of Police, maybe we we'll have a relative peace because maybe as a result of him pulling out, pulling his men out of those secretariats might be one of the reasons why they had to take advantage of it. But I will appeal that. While the, 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 the officers are there, the elected officers also have the opportunity to do their work. At least let them provide security for them, which was even what I was thinking of. I was never of the opinion that the, the Nigerian police should pull out completely. No, 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 no. But when they said they were moving out, it was what gave opportunity for these miscreants yeah. to take advantage of, of uh, the secretaries uh, to destroy them. I know, I understand that. So I want, I, I'm of the support that they should come back support the elected officers to secure those councils because they belong is a, prop, a, a public property we all need to join hands together to protect them so I, i'd like to ask you a, a straight and direct question if there is one thing that could allow for peace perhaps a permanent one and it's for you to give are you willing to give governor fubara for the sake of peace okay. i can put names here I can quote names, but for some reason, let me leave it. There is nothing I've not done on this earth for peace to reign. I can tell you the truth. I can tell you the number of times that I've kneeled down to beg that let's allow this issue to go. But, you know, I feel, uh, 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 like I said, I, I, I don't even want them to talk about this. Thing. I've done everything. And if, even as of today, if there's anything that I can do, or there is any way we can get to a point of making peace, I assure you, I'm willing to do it. Because this is important to me. What is important to me is let river states be normal. With all the problems we're having, the wonderful job I'm doing in this state, I'm not seeing because of the crisis. It's only when I come out and tell people that I'm doing this or the other day, that's how, you mean this is, what, this is what is going on in the state? Because the whole thing everybody is hearing is one crisis or another. If it's not from some set of uh, members of uh, this, it's some group of people. Or if not from this group, it's from one arm, one, 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 one uh, uh, security agency. You know, it's, 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 in fact, let me even tell you, there is a report I just got now that with what is happening, that some persons have already been penciled down for arrest because they are close to me. I might not be surprised by tomorrow when you when you hear their names, I'll be declared wanted. I can tell you. So, 
so go governor it's as bad as that. yeah so you you have some intelligence about uh, it does look like you had a premonition or some information about the attacks of today what did you use those information for were you able to give them to security agencies to avert this kind of uh, violence and disaster we saw today yes I, um it, early hours of the morning that was when i was i got the signal that the ig has ordered that uh, the, the the police officer should withdraw from the secretaries and at that time there is nothing i could have done because it was very early hours of the morning so they took advantage of that time to in those places and cause all this uh, disruption that we're seeing. But I also spoke with the Advent, uh, uh commissioner who assured me that he was going to bring in the new person but also discuss on the way forward since he's already leaving. So I'm, I'm trying to put some things in place provided the new commissioner of police is willing to cooperate with me and I can assure you that all the issues will be will be sorted out. I maintain that I need peace in the states. I don't feel happy hearing every time River State is in the news on for, for bad reasons. It's not. It's not. It's not good. Uh, there are those who imagine that you are the chief security officer of the state, and they've accused you of not being firm enough. Uh, are you Are you willing to take up that challenge tonight? Because uh, you have also said that you are worried that there might be more escalation of this violence in the coming hours and the coming days. Are you able to take up the challenge for those who think that Governor Fubara is not firm enough as a chief security officer of River State? Shebo, when you say firm, I'm the governor. You already know the story. As a governor, chief security officer as written by uh, when I say the constitution, but when you don't have control over the security agencies, how can you achieve a complete protection of life and property? I just said here that I'm, will, I'm, I'm praying that the new commissioner that is coming will give me all the cooperation for us to work together. If we don't, we're not talking about a, a former security uh, agency, that's a different matter. I don't need to go down to go start using informal security to secure the state. No, no. We are not uh, in a, uh, what I call it, the uh, Banana Republic. We still need to put all our energy, our support, and rely on the Nigerian police and the office of the, the, the DSS for protection of life and property in the state. I can assure you, I have all it takes. I have the guts. You've seen it. In a, few, in, a, in, a, in a few things, I can I can do a lot. But in all, I also try to control what I do. So that if I'm asked anywhere, why is this action taken? I can defend my action. Governor so Fubara, I, 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 yeah. let, so, let, me, let me ask you quickly. There are those who are of the view that what happened over the weekend, where APP, a party that a lot of people think that you supported through the back door, because your party, according to you, do not have that kind of control. Uh, one, uh, 22 out of the 23 local government uh, chairmanship seat. There are those who think that you have crushed Wiki's structure and you have uh, politically now been in, uh, at, at this driver's seat in River State. Uh, does that give you some confidence that it will help you politically to drive on? When, when you say the issue of structure, political, no, no, I think... Uh, we're getting it wrong. River State was on a crossroad. The Supreme Court gave a judgment that all the councils should transit to elected council chairman. Unfortunately, at that time, we were running on a caretaker. There is no way I wouldn't conduct an election. As a matter of fact, we had an understanding after that ruling with Mr. President, and he gave us a window of 90 days to comply. The 90 days expires on the 31st of October. I needed to do so. It is clear that there's no way that election would have been conducted in my party, considering the drama surrounding my party. So I opted for something safer to secure the civil servants that are working in the local government to ensure that we have an administrative officers that will man the affair of the council. And that is what I did.
So when is this issue of uh, structure, structure, I don't know what you're talking about. That's my issue now. My issue is to ensure that the council work effectively, that there is no problem in reversing. Because the way I saw it, it was going. It was like they were trying to, to cage the state, to put us in a situation where once it gets to 31st of, December, of uh, October, River State will not function in the aspect of the local government. So I had to do something about it. And that, and that, and that is the truth about it. It's not a issue of uh, uh, APC, APP, or whatever PDP. I said many member of the People's Democratic Party. But, but, but do you regret your action of using the APP not as, at a, all. as an SPV? I said not at all. Not at all. If you had the opportunity of doing it again, would you do it? Sure. I will do it again. But uh, uh, Your Excellency, can you tell Nigerians tonight, uh, who is the leader of the PDP in River State? So that is one of the greatest problems that we have in here. I, I don't know who is the leader. I'm not contesting leadership with anybody. I just want peace in my state so that we can go ahead. Thank you. Yeah, Your Excellency, just before I allow you to go, sir, uh, can you tell us, <laughs> if you see Governor Wiki right now, what would you be telling him? I'll tell him that there's going to be a point where he needs to let go. We need peace in the states. Eh? You don't you, you don't necessarily need to win all the fights. At times, you just let go. He's sick of the good people of the and the love that he has always professed for the state. We need to secure the state. We don't need to burn down the states. Kumara will leave tomorrow. Who knows who is going to come? Maybe through him, maybe through a person. But we need to see, keep the state intact. Thank <laughs> you.